guys, I'm Mooney and you're watching Mooney Reads. Now, I know that I'm wearing this outfit in two videos in a row and that's because I filmed two videos in a row, not because I don't shower. Yeah, but basically this is going to be the books I am going to attempt to read for the booktube readathon. As you can tell and as I said in the previous video, I am actually really sick. And if I sound sick, and if I look sick, I'm sorry, but that's just how it goes when you're sick. So I don't know how the readathon is gonna go because I I get headaches, and all I want to do is sleep and sleep and sleep, and it's not my hair, no, it's my bed. But I'm gonna attempt to do this, and hopefully I'll at least get one of these books done for the readathon. But we'll see. I enjoy the challenges. I'm not. I'm really in it for the fun, not to cheat. So, first book that I plan on reading for the readathon is Bioshock Rapture by John Shirley. And this is basically a novelization of the game Bioshock, and I believe that this is the foundation of Rapture. So, if you know the video game, you know what this is. This book is 430 pages long. Uh, this is a book that's been on my shelf for a really long time, so I'm counting this as one of the challenges which is which book has been on, read a book that's been on your shelf the longest. It's definitely not the one that's been on my shelf the longest, but it's the one that's been on my TBR the longest, so I guess that counts. It's not short. I'm kind of scared that this is going to get me into a reading slump, but we'll see. The next book for the readathon is The Emerald Atlas by John Stevens, and this book is 417 pages long, and uh, Basically, I just, I really want to read this book, and I was like, why not? This is the perfect time to read it. And I am thinking that this is actually going to be a really quick read, because the lettering on it is kind of big, like, it's not small and really bunched up together, like in Bioshock Rapture, so I'm really excited to read this, actually. I picked this up like, yay! I have an excuse to read it! So, yeah. Emerald Atlas by John Stevens. Now, the next book I plan to read for the readathon is actually going to be the only Spanish book I read, The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, and no, I have not read The Da Vinci Code. And this is actually going to be my um, uh, over 500 page read. This is 557 pages. I'm kind of excited, and I think that this is going to be an easy read for me. Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code, and if I like it, I actually plan on picking up my own copy because this is actually a borrowed copy. Now, the next book I'm planning to read, I was just looking for an excuse to read it, and that is Serafina by Rachel Hartman, and I'm sorry if that's kind of blinding you. This book is 451 pages long, and it sounds interesting, and after reading Brizinger, which I might do a review on, I think I need myself some good dragons. And I saw the teaser trailer for How to Train Your Dragon, I know this, this is nothing like that, but I just really want some dragons in my life, so Serafina by Rachel Hartman it is. And the final book I am going to read, or actually the final three books, it's Isaac Asimov's Foundation Trilogy, and I am actually counting this as finishing a trilogy because this was like the original trilogy. I know they added on to it later on. But I'm just going to count this as my trilogy, finishing a trilogy and, or a series, and also a classic because this is a science fiction classic. See, the books are each 250 pages long. Well, okay, the last one is 247 pages long, which, whatever. But I'm so excited to read this, you guys. I love Isaac Asimov. I've loved him since I was a little girl because my mom bought me my first Isaac Asimov book when I was in the seventh grade because that woman knew her child. So here you have it. These are my books that I picked for the for the book tubathon. And I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think I'm gonna do very well in this book tubathon. But hey, anything about reading and challenges is always fun and you know if you can get through it, whatever. At least you read something, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like, thumbs up, um, comment, subscribe, whatever it is you're inclined to do. And I guess I'll see you on my next video. Bye!